the iRacing community has gone downhill. And I think I speak for everybody, and, and I think we can all agree with that, especially post-COVID and the influx of more casual people that hopped on the sim. The enjoyment of the sim itself and the community and the respect online, like that has certainly gone down over the over the years. Uh, I, I don't think I'm speaking out of turn in that. Now, I've been on the sim for well over a decade, so I still remember when the only people who were on the sim were either racers in real life, people who took it seriously. Now, that is a discussion for a different day. I mainly want to focus on one of the wildest protests ever. Now, yet again, I've been on here for nearly 11 years, never got any protests at all up until this year, and it seems like the egos and opinions of the people racing nowadays are softer than wet toilet paper. It's actually crazy. So, you know, what I do for work is, you know, I, I bet on sports, I make projections and stuff, but typically... When I'm free during the week, I'll head over to my girlfriend's house and spend time there. So I haven't even, like, been at my own place this past week. Uh, so, you know, I, I got back. And I'm like, oh, let me check one of my – the email that I have associated with, you know, all my kind of, like, goof around stuff, Steam, iRace and all that. And I see, oh, I have a protest, okay? Well, the last time I was on the sim was just on the October 21st. That's, like, all I do. All I do now in official is just 87s and, like, plate racing. Like, I, I don't even do anything crazier than that. Just streeters or, like, short track racing and stuff. And I go ahead and check my email, and I got a protest. And this is, you know, the, also, like, everybody's, you know, iRacing ID is, is uh, everybody can find it, so everything past, you know, the email not being shown is, is this what it is. And it's, um, driver is involved in a wreck and lets off the brake and rolls down the track directly in front of me, completely destroying my car. Driver would later admit that he thought his race was over and that everyone had passed, so he let it roll. Had this driver been using the relevant box, he would have known that there were still multiple cars coming. And uh, shout out to not even spelling my name anywhere near accurately. <laughs> like, that's actually crazy that we throw, we're throwing E's. <laughs> like, crazy, right? Now, I remember this exact wreck because, yet again, I've only been on, you know, the last races I did were... October 21st, the, the 87s. And I remember it was this race here where I, you know, got wrecked and stuff. And I was like, wait a minute. I know exactly what this guy's talking about because I was sharing in Discord, you know, updates of some of the crazy stuff that had happened on this race. And because I, you know, make content for a living, I always record everything I'm doing. Okay. Now, whether it's stuff for work, whether it's memes, I'm, I'm always recording my, my, my screen. I almost nearly always have OBS running. And I was like, wait a minute, I have this race uh, available. Let, let's go ahead and go through what happened here. And these two trims are actually from this race also that just makes this protest even funnier. Uh, but this guy's, you know, this guy's like, oh, what is he doing? Well, this is the instant that, is, that, is, that he is talking about here. If I can get to it. Um, it's a situation where, and, and, you know, the trims back here will show you. And I just think this is quite funny. And you know, it's Mr. Corn just by the way he's talking in this, in, in this video. So, you know, we're riding, we're going down the back straightaway. We get a bad bump. And might I remind you, you look at bottom left, brake is on. We are, I mean, I get God killed, damn. right? We're destroyed, still going through. Looking at my mirror, like everybody should be gone. Hold your brake, dude. Mr. Zachary Cord. Super, super angry. I destroyed his car on purpose. Pretty crazy, right? Uh, so I remember at the time I was like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show my friends of like, oh, what, what happened and everything. And the, uh, that's the second one. And so this was the trim that I just showed them. Yet again, it's not with, or, you know, there's not me talking or anything. And this is all that's going on. And, and I started with, you know, the other guy who plowed into me, right? Like, I, soft and, like, lack of IQ points. Like, these guys are crazy. Mr. Corn, I, I understand. Uh, I understand I'm spinning here for a long time. And, and yes, I actually did have my black box open so I could see the relative. But I'm spinning for the entire back straightaway. I've held the breakdown. Already been killed once. I, I I can't even fathom why there would be cars on the apron. Pretty crazy, right? We're spinning. We're spinning. Uh, Hold your brakes, dude. Pretty crazy, right? And then you know, yet again, we're you know, we, we'll we'll let's do them talk here. And which is even funnier is later in the same race, Mr. Corn, as the wave around car hits the field. Yeah, I just, I just got spun, but it happened. 
Yeah, I guess he just didn't lift enough. Hey, real high number new, real high number move there, Brandon. I'm missing two wheels, my guy. That doesn't make excuse to just. I don't. I, I can't turn. I'm sorry, I can't turn. No, you can throw it at that point if you can't turn it. I mean, I literally have the brakes down. You go watch. They are held the entire time. Brakes do not work and you have two wheels disconnected. Dude, you were spinning the entire wreck. Yeah, because I got slammed. I got spun, held the brakes, and I got T-boned at like 300 by somebody. These cars fly forever, so... Anyway, so you get the point there. So later in this race, Mr. Zachary Korn, yet again, we're referring to the per like who else would be typing this, right? This isn't a hate on Zachary Korn. This is just a microcosm, a, a perfect example of the mentality that people have on iRacing now, right? And so later in this race, mis or you know, later in this exact race, Mr. Zachary Korn, I just, I believe he has an issue using the brakes, possibly anticipating things happening in the future. I'm actually really concerned about him in real life. Like he might really struggle with school zones and anticipating that a child like might run out in front of his car. These are the people that actually terrify me in real life. So, you know, he's, he's getting his lucky dog early. It's, it's not even wave around time, right? He's, he's going there early and he pla- Lucky dog, dude. Oh my God. No way. <laughs> Who is the idiot that did that? <laughs> the same idiot we all knew he was going to be for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Behind the 15. Hey, 16, do you not hear the you know, lucky dog call? Oh my god. The Who's the one that's spun into me? It was me. Open your ears. I called Lucky Dog coming around the high side, and you just parked it on the high side. Crazy. I've been there. Crazy times on iRacing, man. It It's absolutely insane that people who are the epitome of, like, the Reddit dash cam, but, oh, Garmin, record it. Uh, Garmin, save video, are, are, like, the real problems in, in real life on the sim. I just thought this was hilarious. Uh, in multiple ways that the, these are even like protests that I reason even has to deal with. It, it's incra It's crazy. The egos nowadays are paper thin, super fragile, uh, basically just racing with a bunch of eggs on the track. Really crazy time. Uh, I was entertained by this. Figured I wanted to share because I think it's a, just a great example of where iRacing is as a whole. Uh, maybe I'll review iRacing as a member who's been on here for 11 years. Who who, who knows? But uh, wild times on The Sims. Wild protests. Wild things we, we, we show up and see. Crazy.